Uh, I want to get to Amazon. You've heard the complaint that Amazon is crushing small business. Well, check this. Amazon put out some numbers today. More than 50,000 small and medium-sized businesses globally, Amazon says, have exceeded $500,000 in sales by selling their wares through Amazon's site and Amazon.com stores. But the question of frenemies is spilling over to the cloud. Bitter competitors, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, are neck and neck in the cloud race. But the little guy in this David versus Goliath war is suddenly very key. MongoDB is the first cloud database company to go public in more than 25 years. And despite its youth, it just went public October of 2017. The stock is up 160% year over year as companies like Amazon this is interesting, have both partnered and competed with MongoDB. So we thought, get the CEO in here. MongoDB CEO Dev Idicharia is here in a Fox Business exclusive. Awkward. I mean, you, you're working with Amazon, and yet they've suddenly rolled out something that could arguably compete with you. Well, let me give you some context. So first, we built a database that developers wanted for today's modern applications, and it became wildly popular. Right. Then our customers came to us and said, you know what, I don't want to spend my time provisioning, maintaining, and managing my infrastructure. I just want to consume it as a service. And then we rolled out MongoDB Atlas. And Atlas runs today on Amazon, on Google, and Microsoft. It's been wildly popular. Just, just explain to our viewers who don't know <clears throat> what you're talking about, what it does. So basically, it's a database as a service. It's a managed database as a service offering. So <laughs> essentially, we take care of all the provisioning, maintenance, upgrades, security, patching of the database so developers developers can just focus on building applications so it just takes away all the headache of all the management they have to do and it basically allows them to focus on what they do best is build amazing applications for the business and it's been wildly popular it's grown 300 percent year over year over the last year and, it, and as I said, it runs on all three clouds. Now, actually, Amazon's been a beneficiary of our growth. I would think. Because uh, we drive a ton of consumption on both storage and compute services, mm -hmm. as well as a bunch of ancillary services. But, but now Amazon has come out and announced, I guess you would call it a document database with uh, compatibility with MongoBD. So I'm thinking, are they copying you guys? Are they, well, they imitating you? Well, Amazon's in a bunch of businesses. You know, who doesn't actually compete with Amazon today? And so, yes, they do have an imitation service. But you help them. Um, we help them, actually, and we have lots of customers. We work with them in the field. We have lots of customers who we close together. But this is a, uh, the spirit of cooperation. They have an invitation service. We're not worried. We serve some of the most demanding and sophisticated customers, customers like big banks, Morgan Stanley, HSBC, Barclays, large telecom companies like AT&T, wireless, tech companies, media companies, and cutting-edge startups like Epic Games, yeah. who, who actually built Fortnite, as well as like... Uh, even a company like Coinbase, which is in the cryptocurrency space. Well, I'm sitting there thinking about Fortnite, and we're going to talk about that with our tech panel later, but Fortnite has 200 million players worldwide. What do you guys do for them? And what, guess what database it runs on? MongoDB. <laughs> <laughs> but that's amazing. You know, you, you jumped into the fray. The company was founded in 2007, so you're not an overnight success. This took some time. But to come in as the David... And I, I read, uh, you know, Malcolm Gladwell's book about how Davids beat Goliaths, because we here at Fox Business see ourselves as a David beating the Goliath across the river. But uh, it can be done. What do you think you guys did to really win like this? Well, remember, this is one of the largest markets in enterprise software. The database market is about uh, forecast to be 60 billion today, going to 80, 80 billion. billion in four years. Mm -hmm. So and the incumbents are using very old technology. In fact, the um, incumbents are using technology that's over 40 years old. Liz, you and I were using rotary phones 40 years ago, mm -hmm. and the world has radically changed, but their technology hasn't. So we see a massive opening using our cutting edge technology to go after a massive market, and we have the customers and the proof points to validate our value proposition. Well, you know, when Amazon came out and said it was going to do something similar to what you were doing. You tweeted the silicon uh, adage that says imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but that the technically savvy developers out there would distinguish between the real thing and a cheap imitation. 
Yes. Okay, so have you heard from Amazon about that? Are the relationship still okay? The relationship is still okay. We still work with them in the field, mm -hmm. and we're still uh, working with them. We still drive a ton of business you know, for them. So, again, it's a spirit of co cooperation. Yeah. But we also work with Google and Microsoft and a bunch of other large companies. So this, this technology world is very interconnected. What we're trying to do is address the needs of customers. We work with the customers of mine. Mm -hmm. And, again, our customers are, again, some of the most sophisticated customers in the world who are using our technology to run their business. Open that, gives us, that gives us a tremendous amount of confidence about our opportunity going forward. Did you guys hear that? He said co-opetition. <laughs> he didn't stumble. Cooperation and competition. It's great to see you, Dev. Come back. Thank you very much. We great. love the story of David's beating Goliath, or at least playing in their circle. So thank you. Thank you, Liz. Great to be here. MongoDB is the company, and it is up about 200% since it IPO'd in October of 2017.